Hi guys, hope all is over everyone today. So I wanna, <clears throat> today is now my November favorites. And this year is just flown by so crazy. It, it, it's, I'm like still shocked. But anyway, I hope everyone had a great holiday, great Thanksgiving, a great Black Friday, um, a great Cyber Monday, all that good stuff. Um, I'm actually filming this on Cyber Monday, so you'll see tomorrow, Tuesday. So anyway, I wanted I want to make sure I try all these products. I come back and tell you exactly how I felt about them. I used them for a little bit over a month. So yeah, so that's it. So let's jump right in, and I'll tell you which one I'm loving. My favorites that I'm loving. And first, I have to start off with these two products right here, and these are the Elf Bombs um, lip balm, and I have the color in Berry Sweet and EXO Red. And these bombs are so pigment. The pigment on these bombs are amazing. I did like a haul. Like this is the Berry Sweet. I hope you guys can see that. The pigment is like, look at that. It looks like just like a lipstick. Um, it's like a, it has like a satin um, finish to it. And this is EXO Red right here. So this is EXO Red and this is Berry, um, Berry Sweet. Guys, this is only like a couple dollars. I think I went into Target this week and I saw them for like $1.50. So normally I think they're two dollars and they're dollar fifty this week at Target. So check your local Target, um, elf.com for the these I do recommend them. I also have a nude, but I think that's in my bag. But um definitely I love this. I love these. So definitely if you're in the market for any lip color, I will try these first. Next, I have the Sephora um, 56 Deep is in Mahogany. And this is the face powder. And I must say, I think I was sleeping on Sephora because this powder right here is amazing. It's a nice finish. I put a little bit on my face today just because I wasn't doing a whole full face. But I think, I, I, I don't know, I think, I know. This powder is a great powder to set your foundation. If you just want to just wear it by itself, you can do that. You can just put on your primer, put this on. It gives you a nice flawless, like a nice um, matte look. Not too matte, but you're not shiny. So I, I would recommend this for oily skin. This is a plus. So this is a good go if you want to try it. Next I have the Marc Jacobs... Um, uh, lip pencil or eye pencil rather and I believe it's, it doesn't have a color but I, I know it's black but this it tweet I don't know if you can see that it's just like you could wind it up like this or so it looks like that or you could just wind it down like this this and I want to show you so you can see it's gonna be like a demonstration on my hand so you guys can see this it oh, I can see this guys you see that this is like the lightest that I have drawn on my hand. Like, it's so, the pigment on this light, um, on this eye pencil is amazing. Like, do you see, like it's like a nice sharp black. Um, I will say that it's, it's nice, it's creamy, all that good stuff. But the only thing, like if you really want a thin line, maybe you can go in like with a, a little salt. This is the Elf's, um, no, this is not the Elf one. This is like red uh, beauty, um, eyeliner uh brush angle brush from local beauty supply store but definitely if you want you could probably touch that and then like draw in your wing line if you want to do that if you want that but this it's it, it just it just goes creamy it's like it's not a skinny line or it's not a thin line rather actually you could do that just do it to the side i guess see if you want it you just have to turn the pen to the side and kind of go like that okay like that and then it'll draw you guys get the idea mark jacob black and then pen, if you want like a, a higher end, I would recommend that. Recommend that pen. Next, I have the Tarte Maracuja Oil. I love this oil. I've been using this for about <clears throat> a month or so, or a little bit over a month. There's nothing bad I can say about this oil. It's nourishing. It's good for dry skin. It boosts up my. It boosts my skin. My skin, like I've said in like thousands of my videos, is extremely sensitive, extremely dry, and this is like amazing. Like I'm gonna have to do a, a new skin, um, scare 
new skin routine, skin care, new skin care routine. Guys, oh, I can't talk. A new skin routine, and this is going to be definitely in my routine. So, you know, it pumps like that. It's just an oil, but I love the bottle. If I didn't say this is from Tarte, um, you could definitely try this. It is pricey at Tarte. It's $15 for this bottle. Um, this is the, what is it? I'm trying to think. I believe it's the point, point, it's fi fi um, 15 um, ml. So it's a small bottle. This small bottle, this bottle is for 15. The larger bottle, I believe it's for 30 something. And then you can do your research on Amazon. I actually tried a different one on Amazon that I found. I wouldn't review it yet or show it. This this right here. I don't really just want to talk about it because I haven't reviewed it or I haven't tried it yet rather. So I want to try it, get a feel of it, and I'll get back to you later on that one. But this one right here, dry skin, sensitive skin. You need this in your life. It is amazing. All right. The next I have is the L'Oreal um, Pro Clay Mask, and this is the gray one, and this one is good for brightening, <clears throat> brightening and detox, and I love this one. I feel like it does um, brighten my skin. I feel that it's hydrating some way, which it sounds so weird because the clay mask, I never felt a clay mask so hydrating, if that makes sense. Meaning, like, most clay masks are very drying, and I was very hesitant of drying it, trying this because I didn't want that dry feeling, and it does feel dry and a little tight on your face, but the minute, and I emphasize, the minute you put water to this, it becomes so soft and creamy. It's amazing. So definitely, if you have dry and sensitive skin, I don't, I can't, there are three, there are two more besides this. A pink one, I think a light blue one, I think it is, but I have to, this is the one I, I tried, and I'll definitely, um, would recommend you trying this if you have sensitive to dry skin. Um, after you finish, you could just go with your moisturizer and your face will look nice and glowy. And so this is, this is the key. I'll show if I didn't show you guys. It's just really a gray, a little gray clay mass. So just in case if you want to see it, just a little gray mass. Like that's it. Yeah, it's just a gray mass. And it dries down very clear. Well, not clear, but like a light gray. And yeah, it's some good stuff. All right, next is the Elf's um, mask tool. Or is this is it a mask tool? Yeah, mask tool. And basically, I use this with all my masks. I actually go in, and I just kind of go over my face with this when I'm using my L'Oreal or any uh, liquid mask or gel mask. I kind of, even when I use my face mask, like my, um, the paper sheet mask, I kind of go in, I kind of press it down with this, um, <clears throat> with the special part. And then you have the brush part that when you're using your um, clay mask or your gel mask, you're supposed to be, I guess, to what, press this in and kind of beat your pores and so forth, kind of, ref um, refrain, wait. It kind of like minimize your pores and any, um, any, I want to say pores. I don't think that's, I think it's basically just bad for your pores. To be honest, I can't vouch for this because sometimes I forget it's even here. I really focus on this and, you know, using this. So this is what this clay mask. Okay. I cannot talk this, this, uh, tool is what I can, um, this part right here. I can vouch for it and say it's really soft. It's like a silicone, um, feel to it. It flaps back and forth. It's a good product or a good item. All right, I'm going to finish up so I'm going to stop rambling. All right, guys, so this is the Anastasia's um, um, palette. It was empty, the empty palette, and it's what it looks like. I actually, I actually put some four shades in there, and that's what it looks like. So definitely, I do think this is very travel-friendly. These are just some Costa Sands. Um, Color Rain. These two are Coastal Scents. This one is Color Rain. I think this one might be Makeup Geek, I think it is. What is this pretty one here? I use it every day. You think I would know. It's it's called Burnt, but I don't remember where it's from. Hmm. Let's see. Luxie. This is a new Luxie one I want to do. I have to do a swatch on those. Those are Luxie ones, so it's really pretty. This is going to be a swatch on this burnt one it's just really pretty you guys can see that oh it's like a nice coppery um color yeah so anyway that's it it's very travel friendly um 
if you check this out, you can probably find, I don't know if Cyber Monday, if, the, if they'll have this, but um, Anastasia has one. If you buy four, pa uh, four eyeshadows, they throw in this palette. If you buy eight, you'll get the eight. Um, palette one empty so you can fill it so that's I think that's a good deal so if that's still going on please check that out it's really nice and compact and very travel friendly so anyway guys that's it that's all what I was loving and my favorites for November please like subscribe share the video and I cannot wait to see my next one guys bye for now